So there's a couple of things I've discovered. Uh, we're leaking out of the carb, it's leaking out of the float bowl and that'd be because I didn't tighten it up properly uh, when I changed the jets. Um, so I really turn the fuel off now. And I wonder if we can hear over the neighbors mowing the lawn. You know what, this would not be the first time I've used this rag to mop up the fuel, but um, we're gonna have to take this off anyway, and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, one of the things I've noticed is that this bike has no low end, none whatsoever. Um, the e-bike helped you know, push past that, but one of the suggestions has been that this boost bottle, which, you know, I made just to see if it'd work, is actually causing more harm than good. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all of this off, we'll sort out that leaking float bowl, and uh, we're gonna get rid of the boost bottle before changing anything else, so much as pulling the spark plug, uh, because I wanna see if, in fact, this boost bottle is robbing that low end torque. But uh, yeah, we're going to decide once and for all whether or not the boost bottle is a hindrance or a help. So this stuff is Teflon tape, also known as plumber's tape. And its sole purpose is for wrapping around hose joints like that to stop fluid leaks. We appear, for now at least, to have plugged that leak up just using the Teflon tape. We've done it just. Now, I want to show off this manifold. That this was my first ever attempt at using a tap and die. That is a damn near perfect, perfectly flush seal. Having made no other serious modification other than changing the manifold and getting rid of the boost bottle, we'll take the bike out now and see if we can't uh, get a bit better performance or a bit worse performance. Let's just see how we go.
So the good news is we have eliminated the fuel leaks. When I got back before, there was that massive pool before, a uh, pool of fuel in here. Uh, as for the boost bottle, it, uh, when it was on, it gave me better throttle response at wide open throttle, but less in the low end. And without it, uh, I had more response in the low end, which is where I really need it. Um, but a little bit less off the top end. Um, but the bottom line is it made no practical difference uh, whatsoever. Um, so next thing I can do to finally put this uh, debate to rest as to what's better, the HP or the NT carb, I'm gonna take this number 65 jet out of this carb and stick it back in the original NT and I'm going to take it for another ride and see how we go uh, but that will be next time